All right, about to play a league with combo goblins. Uh, I'll just explain the deck real quick. Primary combo is Conspicuous Snoop plus Bogart Harbinger. You can then put Kiki Cheeky on top of your deck, and then Snoop can copy itself as many times as you want. At the end of the chain, you use Snoop to copy Harbinger to put Swing Gang Lieutenant on top of your deck, and then you can just dome your opponent out for however many uh, Snoops you have. So uh, let's get to it. I don't know what was causing the lag earlier, but it seems to be fine now, right? Again, thanks for everyone being here. If you want to support the stream, hit that follow button. That's free to do. Yeah, uh, it's off right now. I can put it back on. I turned it off. Yes. Do I want this for Step Shadow? Seems kind of bad overall. I mean, I guess the cavern's pretty good, but... It sounds like shit, though. It's the opposite problem. Probably reluctantly keep on 6 and just ship... Houston? But this is not good. I think this is better than an average five for shadow because of the discard element as well. Like I think you just basically can never win on five cards or shadow. Oh. Is it elves? It is elf. Okay, that's a much better matchup for me. Although Hope to draw land here. I think the way this deck is set up, this should actually be a pretty good matchup for us. I would like to draw a colored source. Yeah, I agree, but obviously my hand needs things to go right here. It's the major issue. Can't even attack because that's one, two. I'm probably gonna lose now. I stand by the keep still. I mean, obviously, like, it was risky, but I think you're just better off keeping this on six cards than going to five on the draw. So they can use this to go get a cradle, and they probably lose about next turn or the turn after if I don't draw something. Honestly, if I draw land, land, and they don't kill me, I can probably win. Fair back chat.
Sorry, chat. The air conditioning people were supposed to come and they didn't come, so that's what's going on. Okay, appear to be still going dead instead. It's always lethal. This matchup is good though, so feel fine. Um, gonna s Let's see, what do I not need? Go. Coming in. That comes in. I think opposition agent's also good. So what else can I cut? Probably like chieftain. Cut ringleader actually, because I don't think the games are about that. I need one more cut. Hermon Fable a bit? Okay, that also makes sense. I'll leave three fables. Maybe I should leave in the chieftain because of because of Moxis. Really. But I don't think Trash Master Trash Master matters. Trash Master Matters. Say that five times fast. Um... Am I supposed to keep just because Pyrokinesis is so good for some? I guess so. I'm gonna play... Actually, do I even play Lackey on one? Probably do. I guess just getting the Mons into play and then having Prospector the turn after is worth so much. The question is, how greedy do I need to be with this Pyrokinesis? Obviously, if I draw a land, it's like kind of easy to create, but... My opponent multi-tabling? Oh, not. I did go AFK once or twice for some, but that was honestly not my fault. Yeah, no, if if I draw a land, I th if I draw a colored source, I think the game's really easy. The question is, if I don't, what am I supposed to do? I think is the more interesting question and the more difficult question. Oh, they, they were, it was a close mulligan decision, I think, what was going on there, more than anything else. That's what they were thinking about. Lord Source. I yeah, just play Prospector and say go.
The plan is to just use Prospector to play Expert next turn, or I could just Pyrokinesis clear out their board and put like Mons in. And Mons plus Prospector is basically Goblin Sharpshooter plus Prospector, so it's like kind of good for me. But we'll see what I draw. Very awkward. I think this is still good because it's like actually kind of hard for them to put enough blockers in the way. Mm, that's kind of a disaster actually. Is there any way to play around that? Not. I guess I can just kill their dry dart though, so it's not the end of the world. Hoping to draw a land still. Oh, wait. I put a stop there. They don't have anything, which is kind of... Oh, they might have endurance, actually. I waste them. Doesn't seem like good. Yeah. I think my mana is more valuable than theirs. This is the downside of adding a third Badlands instead of Fetch, but I guess I only drew one Fetch anyways, so it's kind of the same. What can this be? Scavenging Ooze? If it's Ooze, then I do want to waste them without the stack, right? Does their deck still play Scavenging Ooze, I guess, is... I should check. Well, Newton didn't have it. Alright, I'm just gonna assume 
it's visionary, but it obviously it could be ooze and it would kind of be like bad for me. Game is extremely mega. Poison them to hang. What is their hand? Is it just like mostly land? This is kind of a ludicrous game, yeah. Fuck. Bad. Alright. Can't do anything because my hand doesn't do anything. Oh, chat, I might have to, like, leave before the stream ends. Or before the week finishes. Due to the AC person coming late. Wait, so I have to leave whenever that person shows up. But I'm gonna try to finish it before they show up. I'm kind of hoping just the card underneath of this is Skirk Prospector. Oof. 15 damage, right? I don't have to block. No, it's 16. I go to 3. I know I'm drawing that. Well, we only have one cross. Right. Okay, so I'm actually drawing dead, I think. Well, actually... No. It's because I know I'm drawing this. Damn. Uh... I feel like I got extremely unlucky there that game. I had like 7,000 draw steps for a land. And a land like earlier kind of just unlocks my entire hand, especially like a cavern or a fetch or taiga, and there's like a, a ton of those in my deck. Person's post tail. This is actually hypothetically a turn three win if I draw a land. Murfo, first for Vile. Well, I lost, but I also just didn't draw many lands when, like, the deck is actually fairly mana hungry, so. Well, if they're dead next turn, if they have nothing, if they have something, then I'll have to figure it out, but that's fine.
is Merfolk. Fascinating. I'll take off the save targets in a second. But this is the... Okay. This is the faster way to do it. If you save targets, you can just click on it once, and then it just, like, auto-does the thing. And then you just reset it, and then just target the thing at the end. Um, I think I'm kind of naturally good versus this type of deck. Let's go... Can shave like a few of these and I think really you just want a fast combo kill. It's like even debatable if you actually want all of the blasts, but it's a little it's a little bit ludicrous. Oh, um Yeah, all of our cards are good, but I think I'm just worried about clunk more than anything else. So that's why I just want to shave like a few of those. Was that a turn three kill? I think it was, right? Sources are in the deck? Maybe there's not enough green sources. Four. Okay. Four. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Fourteen. No, there's fourteen. Fourteen. I think I'm gonna keep on six. Just hope the cavern would be the best draw, really. I'm gonna play around waste. I'm gonna blast any lord on site, I think. Also blasting that because it messes with my mana. I'm not gonna play my land out because I think I wanna sandbag it for the the expert, especially if they try to block. Turn Dismissal? Why the fuck is that in their deck? Alright, well, we'll try again. I'm still not gonna play that into the, the waste. Yo, Hat, thanks for the raid. Playing some combo goblins. Need to draw Parakinesis or Fury. Okay, well, it's not working out well. I don't know why that card's in their deck. This turned into my brother. Yo, thanks, Pat. Oh, I should have bored in Kinesis. I didn't think the game was going to play out this way, but I guess it's more likely to than I think. Yeah, have a good night, Hat. Oh, I'm going to lose. Probably should have cited one card. That's Sylvan, Sylvalin of Sea and Sky. This is why I like high land count decks. Oh, that feels kind of interesting.
So just play uncounterable Snoop. That's probably the most likely way to win. If I had to guess. I don't think the other plays are really that good. Okay. That's like such a weird time. That's not what I want. I'm trading my lackeys off for the silver gills. There's actually zero chance they ever connect. Also, this has indestructible because there's a shit ton of Murph up. Get them game three. I probably should have one pyrokinesis at least in my deck. But I don't think I need the second, really. During later Baron the Fable, not not when you start siding in a bunch of blasts. And I think in general the answer is no as well. I think I'm actually gonna take the deep. I think this hand's actually good. Any Harbinger or Matron is like a turn 4 kill, and you also have a Blast, so it's like kind of a hard sell to mulligan in this hand for me, personally. Also, if you just draw lands and they don't have a fast draw, um, then the Muxus is also castable on like turn 6 or whatever, you know? I think there's just- this hand's actually pretty good. I think a lot of people would mulligan, and I think that's a mistake. Why we lay on cavern? Because I don't want them to waste this land. I'd rather they waste my cavern than this. Because if you play this and they just waste on one, then like these become dead. And there's not actually that many one drops you need to pyro blast from them. You know, if that makes sense. But that's not the point, right? Like, they could do it, right? Oh. I guess I didn't expect that. actually not a terrible draw, which is kind of funny to think about. I'll take two, that doesn't matter. If they draw a land, they're going to be in really bad shape. SMD? Okay. I mean, I guess we take those. 
next match. We're 1-1 one, one so far with Combo Goblin. Combo has been executed once. What does SMD mean? SMD concede. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Well, that's not very nice of them. See me die. That was really not nice of them, chat. What if I lost to elves because I didn't draw lands? Blackie, you were gifted a sub. You cannot shame me like that. You're not allowed. You're simply not allowed. Sounds. Yes. Player trash master. Ninjas. Play draw cavern as well. Also, hope I don't lose to ninjas. Maybe sorry about my deck because they were in Murfa. Who could say? Possible. This always gets me. I never know what card this is. Looks like a hand that was in What if I top a cavern? That ponder rules? So actually, you're going to start casting Ponders just because this Ponder exists. chat if you want to support me in my time of need hit that follow button that's free to do and if you really want to support this stream consider using your twitch prime sub here while i'm losing to ninjas Oh, see if they block. Yeah, I should have actually. Whoops. I definitely should have. No, you're you're right. Maybe they'll block now. Damn. Didn't block. I'm gonna cast Snoop now. If they daze, I can pay with Prospector. Snuffed out. Ugh, god damn. It's 
they don't have another one. Right. Spell server sprite! Fuck me. Actual spell server sprite. Uh, here's a retrofitter, so now I'm going to lose to a bunch of 4-4s. Four I need to combo to win, I think. Because I'm just going to be... Yeah, so I'm just going to go get Snoop. So I can, like, barely cross the finish line. But it's not going to be easy. Well, I don't even have a land guaranteed for the Trash Master is the problem. This is barely a tribal deck, really. This is an Ornithopter deck, if anything. They leave up spell server sprite when it doesn't really do anything. No way. Don't. What happened there? Okay. Question mark. Walking do anything. I guess technically I can chain a bunch of blocks and not lose that way. Hit moon with hacker. That's not ideal. Here to be at one now. Elves is more tribal than ninjas, I think. So far we've played only matchups where Fable is not that important. The fog was up where you cut all the lackeys. I feel like I want to keep two lackeys and not have such a clogged curve, but okay. I'll trust you. Probably is my the curve is like really really awful now. I guess if you think you can kill everything, that's fine. Up the deck with a pile of plague in here, so fair.
Are they always a lock to have, like, three plus Plague Engineer versus you? If they are, that, like, makes this super, super awkward in a lot of ways. Two to three, that's a lot. Wondering what they were thinking about. Should I just get Snoop and just try to go for their throat? Kind of an interesting decision. I feel like getting the snoop is not actually correct here, but maybe it is. I think I'm actually going to get twin shot sniper then. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Could I also have made a case. Oh, I don't think you should get Mons, because I think what's going to happen is if you get Mons, you're just going to get killed, and then you don't get anywhere. Oh, he Tone Shot Sniper has Reach. Not all Archers have Reach, but that one does. getting one hacker. I wonder if I'm supposed to sandbag my removal for Plague Engineer. No, it's an enchantment. All of the Neon, or not all of them, but like half of them are enchantments in Neon Dynasty. You can tell because it like kind of sparkles. No, if it was an artifact, I would for sure just play Trash Master, but now it's like kind of an interesting debate what you're supposed to do. I think I'm just gonna cast Sniper though. You would have still played Trash from Spirit? Oh, because it protects- oh. Actually, I probably should have. No, this was bad, actually. Because now if I get Plague Engineer, it's kind of a disaster. Yeah, no, I should have sandbagged it. There's no way to avoid this chat. There's literally nothing I could have done better. Literally nothing I could have done better. Alright, 
I guess they probably had the snuff out anyways. If they if they had the snuff out, I was gonna just be this would be the identical board state no matter what. Except I guess I would have killed the plague engineer this turn. No, I don't because Bogart Harbinger doesn't live through Plague Engineer. Hey, what's on top of the deck? There's a goblin on top. Say. Definitely don't want to draw that. Why are you, should I cast Matron in this turn? Can I cast it next turn? I basically don't want to tell them that they need to kill my Snoop right now. I mean, granted, they're probably just looking for removal for Snoop, but... Oh, I should have done that, yeah. Whoops. Uh, I messed that up then. Hopefully they didn't draw anything good. I did put a stop on their upkeep for that reason, but... It just didn't follow through. So now I guess we see if they do removal. Alright, I think I have enough. Being attacked by 35 cards. Boom! Alright, game 3 versus ninjas. Alright, I could have played that better. I think I got a little bit lucky that they didn't have removal spell afterwards.
game three on the draw. I know it has like four snuff outs. But didn't they play a Hydro Blast that game or was that Murfolk opponent that played Hydro Blast? Doing this if they decide to moon what hacker me on the next turn. Which is hypothetically possible, even though it's not that likely. I'm just gonna cast it this top. If they have days, so be it. That's a good one. That is a good one. If we chieftain or mons. I also think chieftain, but I don't have a good reason except I'm allowed to attack with all my creatures if I cast it. I guess that is a good enough reason, right? That I get to attack with all my creatures if I cast it. It's true. No! I think I'm going to play Fable this turn, actually, just to get it going. If they force it, that's fine. I'll just waste them and... I'll waste them and just chomp the Eureka so if they don't have another ninja.
Okay, they have two Ornithopters in your Rico, so I think I'm actually in good shape. Should I just kill an Ornithopter? Because if they draw Engineer, it's kind of bad for me. Oh, actually, yeah, you're right. I can just turn Prospector into two 1-1 one -one Goblins. Actually, that's, that's actually pretty reasonable here. That's a kind of okay, weirdly enough. We're 2 1 chat. We're just playing against all the travel or travel semi mirrors. Alright. 2 1, good around 4. And trying to, trying to win this one or play this one quicker. But if you all are enjoying this stuff, thanks for being here. If you want to support the stream, hit that bell button. That's free to do. If you really want to support the stream, you know how. Consider using a sub here. If you have Amazon Prime, you have a Twitch Prime sub. Fish ninjas, fish ninjas. We got elves round one where I got mana screwed and lost. Minotaur is up next. I'm not sure if I want that really. Coming up with egg travel? Hmm. Sounds like you're egging me on, really. One sec, I'm turning the light on. Getting dark here. Blackie, you don't have to sell me on Fable. In fact, I'm out here selling Callum on Fable in this painter deck instead, you know? Nice gathering of old folks? Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm playing a boomer deck right now. Combo goblins. I played against this person recently. They were playing Soltai Shadow. Or they actually were playing Soltai Delver the last time. Um, is this a hand I'm allowed to keep?
I better not land this hand's actually pretty good. That's my favorite MCP card of all time for Shot and Fort. Ready for a day's wasteland? I'm ready for both of those things. Well, what happens one sixteenth of the time? That's like six point it's like above six percent it's like six point seven percent ish I don't think that's there's only one goblin chieftain in the deck I mean, to be fair, the last league I played was with Naya Depths, uh, Marcus. No Goblin Guide? Goblin Guide is not good in, like, actual Goblin. Goblin Guide is an extremely good card in Burn Decks. They spent all of that time. Oh. Well, the Ninja's Lord is not good either, to be quite fair, actually. Like, the Ninja's Lord is actually, like, not a good card. Alright, got me. The squirrel, the squirrel Lord is also not good, but that's because Squirrels is just not good enough. So... You just have to ask yourself, what's going on there? So this is not the most effective Thoughtseize I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I, I actually think Ninjas only exists because Retrofitter Foundry is extremely broken at that deck. Is that the answer? Is going down. Oh, Guarantee you this person has like three plague engineers in their sideboard. That was a risk I took, obviously. It didn't work out, but... I don't even really like that many Blasts for them, because I know this person also plays Magoyf. I think I'll have one Hearst in 
Got like Fury and well, there are 23 lands right here. Magus should be good. Oh yeah, good call. If you like cavern out a Magus versus type of deck, they actually auto lose. I was speaking. Um, as long as the board is not unmanageable, I should put it. Who should I cut? Am I allowed to cut, like, a Snoop and a Harbinger? Fury for Engineer. Should I cut Trash Master? I kind of would just want to shave down on the combo versus this person. I don't know if that's crazy. Trash Master? Okay. I'm going to shave down on the combo. One Fury, one Pyro. Very scientific. I also think this person probably does not have Max Murktide, because they're playing Tarmogoyf. Alright, that they have. Oh, just let me hit you with this lackey, please. I was gonna put swinging in, yeah. Cause it just means all your top deck experts just kill all their shit. No oh boy, please. Come on, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you do it.
I played against this first move before. They were just playing this like bug style or Soltai style Delver. Do I think it's good? Not really. There's some advantages, like having green threats is kind of nice, but I think being weak to opposing Murktides is kind of a huge drawback. This is not Team or Delver. Well, why do you say Teamer and not Soltai? Like, Teamer is literally from the same draft set as Soltai. When is Wizards printing Goblins for Pussy? Blackie isn't cutting it. Dave, I don't know. No, I'm just giving you shit. Because I do think it's weird that people use, like, inconsistent naming conventions. I actually go by almost all of the uh, Wizards band-dated conventions by this point. Alright, just, just draw lands, please, opponent. Just, come on, just flood out, please. Thoughts is, yes, I'm more okay with that than like a ponder or something. Rested mini weed. Jank Junk America. I do remember PT Jank from way back when. That's like a really old name for a deck. I think nowadays if we would rename PT Jank, it would be Boros Aggro. Kind of thoughts with me? I think once you've decided to do this, you should talk to me. Play around in top deck camp, but now I feel like I'm losing. Matron, Snoop, Ringleader are all really good draws. Okay. Alright. They literally didn't cast a cantrip! They literally didn't cast a cantrip. I would be okay with it if they like ponder didn't shuffle when I got destroyed, but they literally just like cast Thoughtseize with no cantrip, took my thing, Draw for turn, cast Plague Engineer. So, I don't know, that's frustrating. Um, I guess it's not the most exciting hand, but. Oh, wait, are they Doomsday? It's actually a pretty awful hand versus Doomsday, I think. Oops. Maybe I'll get lucky. You ever find it weird when people just are like, I use your name, and then they don't say their name back? Duress whips chat, but if it's Doomsday. Well, they still cast Duress, so. Well, it looks like I'm fucking dead anyways.
I'm looking at some traps, some blasts, and Magus of the Moon. A clap, cast my grizzly bear. Oh yeah, obviously opposition agent, but. Maybe somehow I'm not dead next turn. Am I barely trying at him? No, I'm pretty sure I'm barely trying because I just cast a bear. Last cut, probably some like slow relevant card. Is it ringleader? Probably ringleader, given the configuration I'm in in, in now. I'm trying my hardest, Lackey, but the deck is not cooperating. Put fables. Oh, wait for that. Am I supposed to keep this? Yeah, I think it's like reluctant keep. I actually think what's probably going to happen is I'm going to keep and get killed, but this is probably still reasonable odds to win. But, you know, whatever. No spells here, boss. No spells here. Nope, I'm dead again. I wonder if I'm actually dead on one. Or if they're gonna play around Mindbreak Trap. I mean, it's kind of what you sign up for. Like, when you play Legacy, this shit can happen to you. Well, this game they didn't have discard, so... Anything out of the ordinary? Really? Alright, I'm gonna waste them in hope. It's good enough. I think I have a turn because I wasted them as well. I'm just gonna cast this. I think holding up is cowardly and will cause you to lose more often.
know what gets going. I don't think this blast is actually going to do anything. Because one, two, three. Days. No, one days. I think the wasteland actually was a huge part of that win right there. Game three in the draw. It's gonna to be tough. This tank, kick tank. All right. I guess I can cut some fables actually. Throw a ringleader, twin shot. Maybe trash master does something. Maybe I'll leave in one fable. I drawing a spell? I did draw a spell. I drew Red Elemental Blast. It was a pretty good spell, even. I don't even think this hand is good. Like, they can just slow play versus hand and I'll lose. Like these need to be cheaper cards to justify keeping this, I think. I think I'm gonna ship. I don't think this hand actually ever wins. I guess I'm in this. I mean I think this hand is literally the same hand but better. Maybe they have to go, like, Cantrip or Rit. Rit Doomsday this turn. That would be ideal for me. I really hope I draw lands. Kind of awkward. I think if I drew a land, like two wins in a row, I was actually in pretty good shape. They milled force as well. I was supposed to have the Magus in actually in retrospect. It's probably fine, but
I'm dead again. Chat. Chat, any uh, pity subbers for this death that I'm about to experience? Your chat? I don't believe you. I wonder if I should have gone to five. Probably not, but this is very annoying. Oh, thanks for the pity bits. Taps. Okay, fucking dead. For their nonsense. If I ever drew a land, I probably could have avoided this. Welcome back, Schultz Cubed. Whatever. I mean, like, literally one land and I can just, like, play a second blast or whatever. Fuck! Doomsday, chat! Alright, I'll open two chests for all of the kind supporters. Ooh, what's in here? I love this card, it's a banger. This card is not so much a banger. I try my best, but... I think maybe what's going on here is your deck actually needs a 24th land. Like, I think that's actually probably the answer. To just play a 24th land. Probably just cut, like, some top end card. There's so many top end cards in this deck. Ooh, 125 play points, that's good. And Hostilities, also a banger. You haven't felt that? Well, if your mana creature doesn't live, you're going to feel it. Twenty-three lands is not a lot of lands, like to be fair. I think we've like basically learned that because of the London Mulligan, pretty much. Alright, chat, that's about going to wrap it up for me. I'm going to raid someone real quick. Thanks for being here. I'll be back here tomorrow morning to stream some more. So, uh, check that out then. I'm going to raid someone real quick, though. So, thanks for being here. <laughs>